Hi there, welcome back. Hope you're having a good week. Um, I wanted to give you an update on our dog, Daisy. Uh, I don't know if you've listened to some of the videos in the past, uh, but I, my wife and I have had three dogs in our life. We had them until two of them passed. Now this most recent dog, Daisy, we had her till she was like nine, I think nine and a half, almost 10 years old, but we have parents that are 98 and 90, almost 94 and, uh, and 90 almost, and they're starting to have health issues. Plus, we have grandchildren now. Uh, we have a grandson and we have another one, another grandchild on the way in the next week or two. So my wife's gonna be babysitting there, babysitting there. We knew we needed to try to find her a home. I told stories in a former video about how hard it was to make that work. It didn't quite work out twice. Wanted to let you know it finally did. We found Daisy a wonderful home not far away from us. She seems very happy and it's great. We did that because we knew we were not going to be able to be home. She was going to be home alone all the time. Well, sure as heck. The other day we were out at the assisted living facility and we had to go in with, with uh, one of the grandmothers. We had to take uh, Jennifer's mom into the, into the hospital. She's fine. Uh, they took care of some things, but sure as heck from morning until night, we're gone all day regarding the care of older parents. You may have this in your own situation. It's funny, you go from raising kids and then there may be a window, uh, but if, uh, and maybe your parents pass early, but if you're blessed, if they were to, to live longer, sometimes there's health issues and we knew we needed to do something to be ready. I'm glad we did. It reminds me a little bit of when you hear on the radio, like pre-planning for funeral arrangements, uh, funeral arrangements, it seems like a very, negative thing to talk about, but my parents did it, actually pre-planning for the future. And when it came to be that time, boy, it sure is helpful for the family that that was taken care of. It's the same thing that happened for Jennifer and I when we found Daisy a good home. It can be the same thing in almost anything. So in, pre, in, in planning for your cleaning business, if you're looking to have more free time, not to have to clean as much, have to, like to have to sell and manage more, well then finding someone even in your own operation to train or hiring somebody to train, taking those steps now, boy, will you be glad, you know, three months, six months from now. It really pays off. Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.